it's nice, bright and sunny out today uh, so I can have appreciable um, shadow speeds with this lens. And my camera of choice is the Pentax A3000 uh, camera. I'm gonna use the cable, let's see. So far, I'm really enjoying this lens. I really like the focus control on this lens. Once you set it up on a tripod and you have your shutter release cable, it seems to work extremely well. And I'm really loving this. The control is excellent. I was thinking that was going to be a lot more difficult focusing, but so far, no issues. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I'm just really loving this. Hey, so, so far my first impressions are pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I am loving this lens. And you know why? This camera has an amazing rangefinder feature in it, built in it. And it's actually enabling me to see when things are in focus or not. I was actually quite worried that I was going to face a lot of issues with that. But with the features that this camera comes with, coupled with this lens, and this lens I'm not having any issues looking through. I do anticipate though that when the weather gets a bit cloudy, uh, when it gets a little cloudy, that there will be issues. Um, but because it's so bright out today, this is like the perfect weather to use uh, a lens like this. So, so far I am loving it. I am really loving it. Right now I'm focusing on, uh, on an electrical post in the distance. I will show you right over there. So if you're going to use a camera like this, what you need to know is that the focusing distance is quite a bit. I'm going to put the right focusing distance right up here, okay? So that would be the focusing distance right there. But I've noticed that it is, it is quite, quite a bit. You can't focus on things that are close up. And it makes sense because this is a 600 millimeter lens. It may seem compact, but it's got quite the punch. Look at these poor geese. The pond is frozen and they're kind of dejected. So I feel bad for these geese. The pond is frozen and they came all this way for nothing. <laughs> 